Oh, here we go again! Today we are taking another look at the Incredible Hulk's disturbing and frightening rogues gallery. There are a lot of different ways to make a bad guy come across as threatening, but what makes a villain cross the threshold into being genuinely scary? Fear is a pretty subjective thing, but I think that these fearsome freaks would make anyone soil their purple pants. This is Top 10 Nerd, and today we are counting down another Top 10 Scariest Hulk Villains You Need to Know Number 10, Bi Beast Created by an extinct race of aliens called the Bird People, Bi Beast is an android with two heads stacked on top of each other. In one head is the knowledge of warfare and tactics, while the other is filled with information on culture. I mean, it's a little weird that the Bird People didn't just put all of this information into one slightly larger head, but hey, I'm just some guy on YouTube. What do I know about alien android design? First appearing in Incredible Hulk number 169, Bi Beast was left alone in the floating city of Airy after the extinction of his alien masters. When the city's machines stopped working due to deterioration, Bi Beast captured Bruce Banner to try and force him to repair them. Banner tricked Bi Beast and instead used the alien technology to cure Harpy and return her to her true form of Betty Ross. This resulted in a fight between Bi Beast and the Hulk, but this fight was abandoned when Bi Beast realized that Modok was attacking the city. Rather than let the floating city be captured, Bi Beast activated the city's self destruct protocols, seemingly dying in the process. Now, Bi Beast has reappeared a few times in the years since, trying to destroy the world and kill the Hulk, but honestly, other than his strange appearance, there's not much scary about him. But hey, someone's gotta be at the bottom of the list. Number 9, Cyclop. Cyclop is a one eyed member of an ancient insectoid race who worship the Dark Gods. Cyclop was chosen to be an agent of these Dark Gods who gave him the task of finding them a power source that could summon them. If he succeeded, the Gods promised to reawaken his race so that they could conquer Earth for themselves. He chose the Hulk as his power source and captured him in Avengers number 88, hoping to shrink him down to a more manageable size. When the Avengers interrupted this process to fight the villain, the Hulk was left alone and no one was able to turn off the machine, and the Jade Giant was accidentally shrunk so small that he vanished from sight. Cyclop found the Hulk in the microverse, and the two battled, but Hulk came out victorious. Yet another villain who is more scary looking than anything else? I do like the idea of a bug cultist trying to bring back dark gods in order to take over the world, though. He has only had 11 appearances, so maybe he can earn a higher spot on the list at some point in the future. Number 8, Lord Armageddon. The warlord of an alien race called the Trojan. Armageddon led his armies to numerous victories against several worlds in his efforts to expand his empire. He was so consumed with this expansion that he didn't notice when his wife died giving birth to his twin sons. When one of his twins was murdered by Atalanta, the surviving son fell in love with her and decided to try and marry her, and kidnapped her, bringing her back to his homeworld. Lord Armageddon supported this, and when Hulk and the Silver Surfer came to try and rescue Atalanta, Armageddon managed to incapacitate both the heroes. When his son Trauma fell on a broken piece of armor and died, he asked his father to give the heroes and his beloved safe passage home. Armageddon later tried to bring his son back to life, but the machine he was using was destroyed by Hulk. Although this earned the Hulk Armageddon's respect, it also caused him to vow revenge on the Hulk. I think anyone who is so obsessed with interstellar domination, and who can fight the Hulk and the Silver Surfer is pretty scary scary, but mostly just because of how much raw power they are dealing with. So if this were a video ranking the powers of the villains, perhaps he would be higher on this list. Number 7, Harpy. After longtime Hulk love interest Betty Ross's husband was seemingly killed in a rescue mission gone wrong, she suffered a nervous breakdown. Modok learned of this and pumped her full of gamma radiation, hoping to create a creature that could go toe to toe with the Hulk. The gamma rays gave Betty wings, talons, and the ability to shoot dangerous rays from her hands, and she became the insane creature known as Harpy. As stated before, Bruce Banner was able to use Bi Beast's tech to save her, and Betty would go on to marry Bruce, 
die, and then come back to life as the Red She-Hulk, before further mutating into the Red Harpy, who is more of an ally to the Hulk than an enemy. Harpy has a scary look, no doubt, but what I find scary about her is more so the idea of the person Hulk loves more than anything, becoming a monster that wants him dead. Having to then fight her and deal with the fact that even if he wins the fight, he's just hurt Betty. It adds a certain level of dread and nuance that you don't get with a lot of the other villains. Number 6. Absorbing Man After the death of his mother, Carl Creel's father became abused towards him, eventually kicking him out to live on the street when he eventually tried to fight back. In order to survive, Creel engaged in petty theft to support himself while building his career as a boxer. Creel eventually became an enforcer for the Owl before getting arrested. While serving his sentence, he was chosen by Loki to be a pawn in one of his schemes against Thor. Loki spiked the inmate's water with Asgardian herbs that granted him the power to absorb the properties of any element he touched. He used his powers to absorb the power and properties of Mjolnir, Thor's magical hammer, and was able to successfully take on the God of Thunder, although he was eventually defeated in a rematch. Absorbing Man went on to battle many heroes, including the Hulk, who he was hired to kill by an evil organization called They Who Wield Power. Although this didn't work, he did tangle with the Hulk a few other times, such as when they fought on Easter Island, and Absorbing Man absorbed the island in hopes of taking over the world. I didn't include Absorbing Man in the first video, because he has fought so many Marvel heroes that it's hard to call him a Hulk villain. However, he is a major player in the Immortal Hulk series, so let's go with it. In this series, he was given an injection of Hulk Plug, which turned him red and let him absorb gamma radiation. He fought the Hulk and inadvertently absorbed the demonic being known as the One Below All. This gave Creel a very painful looking and significantly more terrifying appearance and caused him, Hulk, and all the members of Gamma Flight to be transported to the demon's realm. Creel helped stop the one below all and was offered a spot on Gamma Flight by Puck, where he currently works as a hero rather than a villain. Number 5. Glob When a prisoner named Joe Timms learned that the love of his life was dying, Joe decided to escape prison in order to see her one last time. Unfortunately for him, he drowned in the swamp near the prison before he could make it back to her. Years later, the Hulk was disposing of a barrel of radioactive waste, and in a move that I'm sure the EP would be horrified by, threw it into the swamp. The waste revived Tim's and transformed his body into the deformed, gloopy mess you see before you. Because she seemingly just can't catch a break, Betty Ross was mistaken by the Glob for his lost love. This caused Glob to kidnap her and for the Hulk to go after him. As a creature of goop, the Hulk was unable to damage him with his fists, and if he hadn't been destroyed by the same radioactive waters that spawned him, Hulk may have been out of luck. Glob was later reformed by the leader and has tangled with the Hulk a few times in the years since? Speaking of which, number 4. The Leader Samuel Stearns was a man of below average intelligence who was working at a chemical plant when one of the canisters of waste he was moving broke open and doused him in the toxic waste. On the plus side, rather than giving him cancer, it gave him super intelligence. On the flip side, it also caused his head to grow to a massive size and for his skin to turn green. Stearns decided to dedicate himself to taking over the world and started started calling himself the leader. Now, there is no doubt that the leader is one of Hulk's greatest foes, if not the greatest of them. I mean, it's either him or Abomination. A lot of you were shocked at him being left off of part one of this list, and honestly, my reasoning was that the leader isn't especially scary compared to the other villains he recruits for his schemes against the Hulk. However, considering the amount of horrifying plots he is responsible for, combined with how disturbing the character was in his run in Immortal Hulk when he grew to giant size, and attack the Hulk with tendrils, I'm happy to include him here. While we're on the subject, I'm currently working on a video about the Immortal Hulk for our Attempting to Explain series, so keep an eye out for that in the coming weeks. Number 3. Madman Coming in at the number 3 slot, we actually have the leader's brother, Philip Stearns. Phil was a student at Caltech at the same time as Bruce Banner. Although brilliant in his own right, he was jealous of Bruce's superior intellect and developed an obsession with his classmate. When Bruce became the Hulk, this infatuation became 
becoming dangerous, as Phil started experimenting on himself with gamma radiation in order to try and be more like his favorite hero. Not only did this result in Stearns becoming a super strong, deformed monster, but it caused what was left of his sanity to snap, and him to develop multiple personality disorder. Although he initially tried to kill the Hulk, he later changed his mind, deciding to remain a villain, but to not kill Hulk, as life would be too boring without him to annoy. Now, the idea of a Hulk who has developed DID and is obsessed with Bruce Banner and the Hulk is pretty disturbing and is frightening enough that the leader actually once teamed up with the Hulk to defeat him, confessing to Hulk that he is scared of Madman. Although years later, the leader would eventually kill his brother in Thunderbolts Volume 2, Issue 6. Number 2, Zemnu. This fluffy beast is an alien with the power to hypnotize people on a mass scale who crash landed on Earth. He planned on using his hypnotic powers to make the people of Earth build him a new ship in order to return to his home planet, despite the fact that the force of the rocket would tear the Earth apart. Although this plan failed, Zemnu did eventually make his way back to his home planet, where he discovered that everyone had died of disease. He returned to Earth, where he was engaged in many schemes to use his hypnotism to take over the planet. He has fought a lot of heroes such as Namor, Iron Man, and Deadpool, but he seems to hate the Hulk the most. In one of his more creative schemes, he tricked the Hulk into defeating a monster, causing a wave of parasites to be unleashed on nearby civilians. Zemnu then showed up and stopped the parasites and implanted false memories in all the witnesses' minds of him being a hero. He continued to use these powers to turn public opinion against the Hulk before Hulk eventually defeated him. When killed, Zemnu can reform his body by taking over someone else's body and gradually transforming it into his. As if that wasn't bad enough, he has developed a taste for humans and regularly consumes them in brutal and terrifying ways. Number 1. The One Below All So the one above all is the ruler of the multiverse and the creator of all life in it. Although he is the source of love and good, he also has an evil form known as the One Below All, who is the personification of hatred and destruction. The ruler of the lowest point of reality, the Below Place, is able to manifest itself on Earth through the mutagenic form of gamma radiation. This means that when Bruce Banner was caught in the gamma bomb, he was infused with this dark entity's power. The One Below All wants to become the only remaining thing in the multiverse and destroy everything else. As he is incapable of having his own personality without a host, it waited until Hulk's father, Brian Banner, died to merge with him and take on his personality, which if you know the character or watched part one of this video, you know is a really bad thing. The leader eventually managed to absorb Brian's soul in hopes of learning more about the One Below All, but was possessed by the One Below All. It's hard to say which actions to count as the One Below Alls and which to count as Brian Banner or the leaders, but his influence is undeniably horrible and worthy of the top spot on this list. Any other villains you think should have made the list? Any other heroes with a terrifying stable of villains you want us to look at and rank? Let us know in the comments below and please remember to like and subscribe for more Top 10 Nerd.